The Therapist by B.A. Paris, published by HQ Stories, and this is a suburban noir thriller that is set in Finsbury Park in London. Alice and Leo have been going out for just a few months and it feels like Leo is pressing for um, a, a deeper relationship, perhaps a little bit more fast than um, Alice would like. He soon has bought a house and he's bought a house in what is called The Circle, which is a gated community in North London. And it's almost like the face of a clock so that all the houses kind of face in, there's a square and there is a playground and everybody can kind of see what everyone else is doing. And he has bought a house there. Um, he's bought it before she even has a chance to look at it, but there she is, suddenly she finds herself in this house um, and she discovers soon that there is quite some history to this house. It's been standing empty for two years, he got it at a knockdown price, and he really went for it. And here they are. She discovers that somebody called Nina Maxwell, a tragedy befell her, and they have a perpetrator, um, and it's all sewn up. But just the discomfort that something really, really unpleasant happens in this house means that, you know, it was not an easy house to sell. She has a sense of a presence in the house. At night, you know, she thinks maybe somebody is walking around the house, hiding in it. And then as things progress, she almost feels like things are being moved. Cards that have been um, housewarming cards suddenly are face down and she wonders what is going on. And she immediately focuses on Leo because, you know, she has a sense that maybe he's withholding the truth and we know certainly that he has a few secrets yet she has her own secrets she has death in her family she lost her mom and her sister and so there is a lot to come into the fore and to be unraveled in the story she gets to know the locals. There is Tamsin who has made it fairly clear early on that she doesn't really like Alice. Um, she overheard something. And there is Eve who is much more amenable and soon she is part of their group and she tries to find out from them what actually happened and was the right perpetrator found and convicted. And it turns out that actually somebody committed suicide. There is a private investigator who turns up on her doorstep and that's quite strange because it's a gated community um, where you have to press some digits to allow entry. But anyway, he's there, he has a, a good excuse and soon she is on the same wavelength as him because he has come to find out some more details because they're not sure that what happened and who was convicted is quite crucial. So I think um, we know that B.A. Paris can actually create a really good story with very subtle twists and turns and suddenly you're going up this way and then you'll do a little switch back and come along somewhere else and it hangs together incredibly well. I listened to this as an audiobook and found it really engrossing because, um, you know, little bits happen, things change, um, Alice observes something, new information comes in and it's a really cohesively told story. So I think if you're looking for um, a good suburban noir story that will keep you hooked, then I think that The Therapist by B.A. Paris is certainly one to pick up. And then you've got a whole load of other books, if you really like that book, um, to read and catch up on.